For anyone who is accustomed to motionless magic lantern slides of railway scenes, this Flemington Station motion picture film must have been a revelation, as the train seemed to move towards the audience encroaching on their personal space. When the film was developed at Barnett's Sydney studio, the technical standard of this shot was particularly admired. The upward drift of the smoke, the bustle of the crowd and the play of the light through the ladies' hats and across their gowns as they moved towards the gates could never be caught by a still camera. You can tell that this is an Australian film because the men all barge out of the doors of the train first, leaving the women to get out afterwards. Here's the Melbourne Cup favourite for 1896. The horse, Newhaven, fresh from his win of the AJC Derby, with his jockey, Harry Gardner, and the trainer, Wally Higginbotham, holding the reins. Barnett directed this film, and you'll see from the look on Wally's face from time to time that he's listening to the photographer's instructions. Now, Lumiere camera film spools were 60 feet long, and they lasted just one minute in the camera. Sestia had no panning or tilting device on his tripod, and he cranked the film through from this single vantage point. No panning, no close-ups, no editing. Each film was a single photographic statement, although the photographic quality is excellent. Here Barnett tells Wall to take the horse around a second time. <laughs> <laughs> 